Hey guys, Apple today has officially released another minor update to iOS 18. iOS 18.4.1 is now available for iPhone. Now, aside from iOS 18.4.1, Apple also released iPadOS 18.4.1, macOS 15.4.1, HomeOS 18.4.1, tvOS 18.4.1, and VisionOS 2.4.1. Now, this software update is available as of today for everyone to download, no beta testing, and it does address a few bugs and issues within the latest iOS 18.4 that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Now, there's also a few things you're going to want to do right after you update to the latest 18.4.1, so let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So, as I mentioned, this software update is available for everyone to download as of right now so head on over into settings on your iphone go under general tap onto software updates and ios 18.4.1 should be available for you to download as of right now. So let's take a look at the latest bill number. Right there it is. So the latest bill number for iOS 18.4.1. So now let's take a look at some of the latest release notes here. And I wanted to read this for you guys. So this update provides important bug fixes, security updates, which is very important, and it addresses a rare issue that could prevent wireless CarPlay connection in certain vehicles. Now keep in mind, we talked about this issue with CarPlay on my previous videos and Apple has acknowledged that CarPlay connection issues were happening within iOS 18.4. So if you were having CarPlay issues, this software update should help you fix those issues on your device, better connection and everything like that. But there's a few things you may want to do right after you update your iPhone to this latest software update. So here on this iPhone 16 Pro Max, let me show you a few things you're going to want to do. The first thing is reconnect your CarPlay. So head on over into settings, go under general, go under CarPlay. And if you have your vehicle already synced and connected, you want to go ahead and forget your vehicle, remove it from the list and reconnect your CarPlay to your iPhone and your car, obviously, so that you can get that better connection once you update to iOS 18.4.1. I recommend you do this because obviously this means that your iPhone will reconnect, sync everything once again, and hopefully those issues within CarPlay that Apple mentions here will be resolved. And now I had a few issues with CarPlay, but I also had other issues on my iPhone with iOS 18.4, which we did talk about on previous videos. So the other thing I recommend you do is make sure that you update all your third-party applications Applications. There were several issues with the Square slash kiosk application. So you want to head on over into the App Store right after you update to iOS 18.4.1. Head on over into your account here on the top right portion. Go ahead and refresh the page right here. And you could see some app updates available and populating here in the app update section for the App Store as you can see right there. So if you do have these app updates available for you, make sure that you update all your third-party applications. Now again, this software update also provides provide security patches so obviously this is going to be super important for everyone to update their devices as of today thank you for watching this quick update i just wanted to make you guys aware of this i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace